What's going on guys? Welcome to Gaming with Bare Hands. I am Bare Hands, today bringing you a deck suggestion from Code Rider. Really cool name. I believe Tron was code, code, a Code Rider, right? I'm going to call this the Wheezy deck. It is not easy. It is Wheezy. We've got the Wizard and the Free Spell, which is where, where, we, get, where we get that name. Then the Elite Barbarians, Archers, Arrows. I have not used Arrows since the Jason deck, if anybody remembers that monster. And then we've got the Inferno Tower and the Fire Spirits along with the Guards. Now, I have played about 14 games and won a single game, and that game... After I got a beautiful prediction, Arrows, he just quit, and I was able to get a three crown. The learning curve is real, and I am really struggling with this particular deck. I'm just going to try and slow down my playstyle a little bit, maybe finish out my crown chest, which I have been desperately working on achieving. Have you ever had one of those days where just like everything goes wrong? And I'm not talking big things, just like little things. You just like stub your toe. I jammed my finger three times times I was I was at a practice and I jammed my finger three times in like I'm not even gonna explain it because it's painful to think about all these little things somebody almost killed me today in the car I was driving like 50 miles an hour and they just decided to turn left in front of me and then almost stop they were going that slow drivers learn I do not have any good games to show you with this deck code rider I know you're out there when you watch the games that we are about to play and fumble through, throw me some advice. This is, in my opinion, a really interesting deck, and I know, I just know that you can be good with it. It's just going to require a lot of skill and talent. I'm sure you have it. Please impart that wonderful wisdom. All right, we've got uh, two chess slots. I need two victories, just two victories, and then I would like to get two crowns. I think... In order to get two victories, I need at least two crowns, right? So let's go ahead and jump right in here and see what we can experience. All right, Chung Yi. I don't know, do I start off with my wizard in the back or my guards? I'm gonna throw my wizard in the back. Wizard's walking, walking, walking. He's gonna throw a fireball. The fireball's not gonna kill anything. Uh, and I'm not going to invest in front of that simply because I feel like the log is ever prevalent. So I'm going to go ahead and split archers here. And then when he throws his mega minion down, I don't have a lot of plays in my opinion. And I don't know what he has. Let's see, skeleton army. No, he's just going to throw minions down. And then he's going to throw down a tombstone. The tombstone's actually not going to do a very good job there as he played it a little bit late. And I'm going to go ahead and arrow this away because I don't have a whole lot of other options. And then get a nice placement on the guards. You might think I couldn't mesh it up, but it's possible. Um, I wanted to play the wizard there. You know what? You know, you know, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and play the wizard back here. Showtime. I faintly remember a piece of advice in using the freeze in the wizard to counter the lava hound but at this point i'm gonna go ahead and play this up here oh he gets his mega minion down on it that's gonna take this out i'm gonna throw down my fire spirits over here his lava hound is almost dead so i'm not too worried about the puffs because these archers will clean it up nicely we'll we might take just a little bit of damage there and we're gonna slow 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 it down slow it down i'm doing well He's coming in with Minion Horde. I'm going to arrow it out. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get his Fireball out again. I'm going to go ahead and throw my Wizard down here in the back. While he gingerly skips. Now, what do you do against this thing? What do you go do, do against the Tombstone? I'm going to rush in here and then throw my... Fire spirits in here, and maybe they can get up and just up. Oh, oh, they all jumped into the lava hound. What horrible timing. I'm gonna throw this down here. Get my archers over here. When he pops, I'm gonna go ahead and fireball. That was an odd, that was an odd set of arrows on his part. I'm gonna soak a little bit of damage there. And then elite barbarians. I know he wants the lava hound. Let's go ahead and throw down the wizard. 
Throw down the fireball. Oh, wizard, get him! Get him, wizard! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, he's forced to throw his fireball down there. I'm not using my free spell at all. I I don't I don't even know how to use the free spell. What does it do? Let's go ahead and throw this down. Go ahead and throw arrows down. Anticipating the minions. Arrows are gonna hit the field. And that wasn't that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. That was not right. That was not right. Let's go ahead and throw the Inferno Tower down to prevent epic amounts of damage to... Oh, that, those guards couldn't have been in a worse spot. Let's go ahead and arrow here because this will get ridiculous. Now, I bet he throws his minion horde down, so let's get our wizard ready. Alright, I'm going to throw wizard over here. And then archers over here. And then freeze. Oh, no! Fire spirits. One, two, three. Go ahead and arrow once this pops. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, I threw the game away. I cannot save this. Game is over. How, 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 how do you get around the tombstone? Maybe I need to get the fire spirits down and hope that they don't jump into a lava hound. What poor timing I had in there. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, what? Couldn't even get a crown. Let's go ahead. And not give up. New Natureza. Can't even read today, guys. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the wizard in the back here. Split him off here to the left. He's coming in with a musketeer. Now, what I want to do is just answer the musketeer with the fire spirits. And then barbarian here. He does, not, he does not... Oh, he draws it over... Oh, and I don't have the fire spirits down. What am I thinking? I wanted to freeze there real bad. But instead, I'm just going to allow the fire or the wizard to do his work over there. Let's go ahead and get the Inferno Tower down. That's going to draw over here. Now, I, I think we'll still take it out. Will we still take it out? Yes. Okay, so that was a pretty decent trade. That was a six for five. And we dealt with the Hog Rider completely. He's going to come in with a musketeer. I'm going to split my archers. Oh, hey, cat. My cat's here to visit. I'm going to throw down my wizard. I have my guards ready for the musketeer. Guards, nice fireball on his part. Uh, thankfully, the guards really, really distract him there. And I do not have enough elixir to get our... Elite Barbarians up in front. Now, he knows that we have the Elite Barbarians. I'm going to throw the Elite Barbarians down for the Hog. And then go ahead with Fire Spirits here. And then... Free Spell. That was an excellent kite on his part. Now, my Barbarians are completely distracted. And I feel like this guy's deck was built solely for the purpose of dealing with Elite Barbarians. So maybe I need to be a little bit more careful with the Elite Barbarians. I'm going to throw down my my this. My this on that. Get the guards down here. Soak a little bit of damage on the hog. And when I say a little bit of damage, I mean, like, close to 800 damage from the hog. <laughs> His Musketeer's coming in here. And I would like to throw down my wizard, but he's just going to fireball it if it's too close to the tower. Let's go ahead and Elite Barbarians here. Fire Spirits. Freeze. We cannot take any more damage there. Thankfully, we were able to shut down the Hog there without taking any more damage. But again, he is going to be able to get an insane counter. An insane counter uh, Elixir trade there. Let's go ahead and guard. Let's go ahead and Inferno Tower. Very nice fireball on his part. Is able to go ahead and take out our wizard there. Then the musketeer is going to turn around and deal with all of this. And there's just... I do not see us getting to the tower at all. Alright. Elite Barbarians. There's the hog. Go ahead and freeze. And guards. Nope. The fireball is going to destroy all of that. And I have no push potential here. Go ahead and throw down here. Throw down here. You know the hog's coming in. 
thankfully we take care of the musketeer get our elite barbarians down now we might have a little push potential here go ahead and get our archers down a fireball would be really good at that moment i'm gonna go ahead and throw down our arrows and hopefully we can take out all the little stuff we get our elite barbarians to his tower finally our freeze would have been nice there but we certainly could not have we certainly could not have taken it all out he's zapping i go ahead and freeze deal with the hog He's going to fireball. Bring this all the way down to that. We really need to get rid of this musketeer. He's going to come in with another hog immediately, so I need to get our... No, no, no. Okay. Oh, man, and we draw. That wasn't the end of the world because we didn't lose a whole lot, but yikes. Did I feel like I was on the back of my heels that entire game? Maybe there were some key moments in which I could have frozen, but he was kiting so well, the elite barbarians, that even if we froze at the very corner of the tower, there was no way our elite barbarians were getting to his tower with skeletons, ice golem, ice spirit, and, and, and the cannon. What was the answer? What was the answer? The answer is just keep going. We are fighting Korea. The entire nation against one man can he stand up to the task let's go ahead and throw a wizard does he throw elite barbarians down um well i don't know that his fireball kills our wizard in one shot no no there we go block it Oh, man, the princess flashes away our fire spirit. What a sham. That's a lie. We get some nice damage off on his tower there. I feel like I'm really behind an elixir. I'm going to throw my archers off here to the side and draw the attention of that mega minion. The mega minion is going to get a shot off, so maybe I could have been one more tile over there, over and up, maybe. He's going to come in with the lava hound, of course. Of course with the lava hound. Um... I am simply going to go here with this to prevent any funny placement of... There we go. There are the minions. So we could throw down the wizard here to deal with the minions. And then his balloon is coming in. So let's freeze. Oh, look at that beautiful freeze there. Freeze is going to deal with this. I don't know if the wizard... Is the wizard going to be able to deal with the princess? I don't need to waste... There you go. I do not need to waste arrows. He is just... He is just giving us elixir here. He is giving us an elixir advantage. He just said, you know what? That push didn't go so well, so just take like seven more elixir. And because of that, I am going to go like this. Other side. I want an arrow, but I'm not going to. Okay, all right. Now, look at that. We force him to defend with a lot. And then, there we go. Let's get that arrows down. Almost, almost missed. Check it out. Piece of advice. We'll take it down 60% if we're tanking. And he gets his Lava Hound down there. Well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and throw our Inferno Tower again. He just used his... He just used his minions and Mega Minion. His Fireball is, in my opinion... A real waste. Let's go ahead and fire spirit. Let's go ahead. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's go ahead and freeze here. I don't see a whole lot of other options. Get our archers down. Is it going to be enough? Oh, we got the balloon. Okay, so we're only going to take splash damage. And we got his tower all the way down to 1,014. And let's go ahead and wizard. Wizard will deal with that. Elite barbarians. Fire spirits. Freeze. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Arrows, arrows, go arrows. Get us the tower. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, sorry for the little glitch there. Earlier in the match, I hit our, I hit our little cord here, and, and that just spells disaster to all things recording. Whew. Guys, we got a golden chest, which means I could set that to open while we're sleeping tonight. <sighs> Whew. One more crown. I need one more crown. I really enjoy just putting my mind through the ringer with a, with a deck that I just have no idea how to use it all. It's good for you guys.
It's growing pains. Maybe throwing the fire spirits up at the bridge would force him to answer them. I'm going to throw archers down here. A spawner. A spawner. I do not have a zap. I do have a freeze, though, thankfully. Here we go. Oh, that was... That wasn't good, was it? That wasn't good, was it? Can you please get a hit on Sparky? No! No hit on Sparky! Okay. Oh, uh, we have guards, though. There we go. Let's get that down there. Oh, my. Oh, my. There we go. The dragon is distracted on the tower. Sparky is going to knock a shield off. Okay. And we are ahead. Granted, he is a level 10, but we are ahead at this moment. Calm down. Let's go ahead and Inferno Tower. Prep the Almighty Guards. He wants Dominion Horde, I believe. I'm going to Wizard. There you go. Wizard is going to deal... Oh! 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 Okay. Alright, now he's going to Skeleton Army. No, 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 he's not. That was dumb. That was maybe the worst play I've ever done in my life. Sir, I just need one crown. Can we do like a double? Alright, you ready for this? Ready for this? And psychic arrows! Here they come, here they come, here they come! Oh, and he freezes! He knew what was going on! He, he read us like a book. <laughs> or, he, or he just knew he only had a few more seconds. Good game, sir! Been there, done that. <laughs> I hope I don't lose all of your respect by playing like this. You're like, Bear Hands wins all the time! No, no he doesn't. Now we're going to be able to wizard here, and I'm not going to throw arrows. Because we want arrows on that minion horde. Here we go. Elite Barbarians, Fire Spirits. There we go. Get in there. Kill all that. The wizard is going to... Look at that, the wizard clean... Oh, the wizard didn't splash that. At least get one hit off. Can we do this, guys? We can do this, right? We can do this. Arrows. Oh, what a beautiful log. He has the log? Okay. All right. All right. Here are the archers. Here are the guards. No, 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 no. Level 12. Level 12 minions. Disaster. Ah, uh, should I freeze? Should I freeze? I should have froze. And, well, it, you just can't have a bunch of draws, right? You can't have a bunch of draws. You gotta see me lose every once in a while. <sighs> what are we at here? 23 minutes and counting, and I haven't gotten my two crowns. He, oh, and he places it in front. What a nice play. He had placed it behind every time, and then he switches it up with a different miner and catches my tower. Very good job from Mr. Zest Clan. That was good. That was good. Guys, this is brutal. This is brutal. I can't get one more chest. Come on, arrows. And arrows. Go, you monstrous elite barbarians. Bring us victory. <laughs> I'm officially over 30 minutes into this video. Editing this is going to be a bear. Oh. Guards, archers, elite barbarians. He's, ooh, he fireballed our archers. You know what that means? Our wizard cannot be fireballed now. So let's go ahead and just all our eggs in one basket here. Ha ha! Here. Ha ha! Freeze. Boom. 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 Well, we, we did tack some damage on there at the end. Let's go ahead and throw some guards on these archers. And good game, you man. Good game, you man. 
I hate to give up, but let's be honest, I may never, I may never ever get that crown chest if I don't switch decks immediately. Thanks so much for the deck suggestion. It was really fun, maybe fun, maybe draining. I don't know, you decide for yourself. To try out this deck and get walloped on a little bit. I think with a lot of practice, you can learn some really interesting combinations to do with the cards in this deck, which is why I wanted to give it a try. I don't think I utilized them as well as I could have. I apologize. I'm still going to give you a shout out, Code Rider. I really appreciate the support you give on the channel, leaving comments, subscribing. It means a lot to me. But for everybody else, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to come back for more gaming with bare hands. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Be awesome. Have an awesome day. See you later.